All right, hello and welcome everybody. J-Man back here for some more reactions. So we've got a little bit of a special day on tap here. Um, we're going to be starting out with um, the Nightwish making of the Endless Forms Most Beautiful uh, video clips. So there's like 15 clips of varying length, um, just basically about the, the making of the album and stuff like that. So um, I've been highly anticipating checking this out um, and uh, we decided to do it today. So uh, it's going to be kind of an extended day of streaming, I believe here. We're going to do this and then we've got some other special stuff on tap for uh later um so stay tuned for that we don't have an official plan um set in stone just yet but uh definitely have some plans for some more cool stuff it, it's gonna be all different stuff and not so much song reactions today um although there may be some definite music coming up here in a little bit um trying not to give away the ghost because we're we're not sure what we got time wise and everything like that but definitely stay tuned gonna have some cool stuff so um just want to say a, a quick thank you to everybody out there on uh, youtube for all your comments and suggestions you guys are really piling on the suggestions into my uh video your suggestions here um thank you for following those instructions a bunch of people are going back and removing their large posts of 10, 15, 20 songs at a time, putting them into inv individual songs or songs of two. And I, I greatly appreciate that. Um, it just makes it th things easier for me. And um, I just wanted to qu say a quick um, to, to anybody that had put larger than, you know, had put those larger lists of music, um, you know, please don't feel bad like you did anything wrong. Um, I didn't set any rules out in advance when I started doing all of this. Um, and uh, I had no idea really what my means or my mode for getting this stuff put into a cohesive list was going to look like. And once I started doing that, I realized that having these huge lists of songs in one um, one post didn't really work out to me fairly because uh, if somebody upvotes all 20 of those songs, now we've got to basically, we're going to have like five days, six days in a row where we're listening to nothing but all reactions that were posted by one person. And I want to try to fairly, you know, equal out those those requests um, by people, by, you know, the ones that are, are most highly demanded or or the ones that get the most uh, upvotes and things like that. So, uh, I appreciate all of you out there for, for doing your best to go in and make your posts smaller, um, one or two songs. Um, so thank you very much for that. Um, thanks Twitch for hanging out with me and, uh, watching this movie live, uh, or, or these video clips live. This, uh, this should be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's dive on in. Um, so we've got the first one. I'm just going to kind of let these play. We've got the full playlist of all of them. I'm kind of going to kind of let them play. I may not stop in between each individual clip, um, but we'll definitely stop from here to here, here to there and kind of talk about stuff as we go along. So let's go. Here we go. The making of the EFMB uh, album uh, video clips. Let's get it. The Cabin. The Cabin. Does it start out like with a horror movie? <laughs> exactly, Cyber Earl. That's what I was thinking. Great minds. Seven months after the tour had ended, it was time to get back to work again. The band headed to Finland's beautiful wilds to plan their upcoming album. The band had rented sumptuous quarters, and everything was ready for um, a happy reunion. That's not quite Except a cabin. that nobody had remembered to bring the cabin key. Um... 
<laughs> After Oops. lengthy negotiations, the spare key was found, and things could get rolling. Damn it, you key? got! I knew the key? I knew the key? Oh, you knew it! <laughs> I have no idea where we are. It's There's snow everywhere, and it's freezing, but as for that, we could be anywhere. I don't know. I love Troy's oh, accent. It looks, <laughs> it looks great. Moving in with 12, 13, with how many are we? <laughs> 11 Finns and a, and a Brit. Yes. Yes, here we are. Yes, we expect to get our expedition later on. Find the pearl. Find the source of the North Pearl. Yes. That's my intention. <laughs> Four weeks. <laughs> what a view. Well, that's one Planning way the to get things done is work. seclude yourself out in the freaking snow, right? And uh, I just want right. That's <clears> okay. <throat> sorry, bro. Month and I have to do that. And then the first show after that is the fifth of June. The sound technicians joined the band around the long table. In addition to the recordings, the topics included touring, promotion, photo shoots, and everything else relevant to the album. Wow. Planning a release is meticulous work, and everybody's input is needed. <laughs> but this is how it begins. The wheels are in motion, and the hard work on the upcoming Nightwish album will continue in the next diary clip. Siitä hetkestä kukaan biisiä tekemään mulla on tarina päässä, niin tuota, laulumelodiat, Florin, Markon ja Troin äänet on ollut pääsisällä koko ajan. Kyllä mulla on hyvin selkeä näkemys, miltä ne biisit tällä hetkellä tulisi kuulostaa. Totta kai ne muuttuu vielä hirveästi, kun ää, niitä treenataan ja sovitetaan bändin kanssa. Nämä on syytäkin muuttuu, mutta mulla itsellä on tällä hetkellä hyvin selkeä kuva jo kaikista biisistä. Wilton, hello. Titan Atlas, hello. Jim and Asin, what's going on? All right, are we on to two? Yeah, we're on to part two. Oh shit, Apex is out of stock. Album number eight. Ten weeks after the first meeting, not only had the snows melted in Finland, but the new songs had also received their initial demo form. The recordings took place in a small cabin in the middle of the woods. Oh, what are we cooking, Where metallic Hansford? cords found their form you and notes Making enough to sequence. share with everybody? Hola, Hattulassa. Täällä on tällainen tällaisella syrjäisellä metsäisellä seudulla täällä on tällainen mökki, missä me ollaan oltu nyt Tero ja Tuomas varmaan useammankin päivän me tässä pari päivää. Pikkasen tuollaista demon rakentelua ensi kesän mittavia bänditreenejä ja albumin nautosta varten. Eli tuo on niinku kakkosen. Hienoa. Se on kopsumatsu kuin tuo viimeinen kolmannes. Se on ihan tismalleen sama, mikä on mikään tuossa niinku ensimmäisessä. Tämä on nyt on kolmas kerta, kun me suositaan tällaista eräkämppämajoitusta demottamiseen. Ja Ooh, ollaan todettu se erittäin toimivaksi yum, yum. ratkaisuksi. Saa olla omassa rauhassa, luonnon rauhassa. Pystyy keskittyä ihan 27 siihen, mitä tekee. Studio-olosuhteissakin on toki puolessa, mutta tai jotenkin vaan toimii meille. At this point, only the writers themselves had heard the songs. Instrumentation, melodies and arrangements were presented to the rest of the band with samplers and just a few instruments. Se on tietysti eri asia öö, heille, koska me kuulen nuo biisit ihan eri tavalla päivissä. <laughs> me kuulen, miten ne laulu melodiot. You know that ain't gonna happen. Öö, ne tarinat biiseissä, lyriikat, öö, se yleisfiilis, mitä tietysti kukaan muu ei tässä vaiheessa pysty vielä hahmottaa. 
niin siellä on matskoja, joka kuulostaa jo nyt heti suoraan hemmetin hyvältä. Ja sitten on vielä sellaista matskoa, josta selvästi huomaa, että tämä kaipaa viimeistelyä ja pitäisi kuulla niin kuin laulumelodiat ihan laulettuina ja muuta ja tekstit, että ymmärtää kaikki asiayhteydet tälleen näin. Mutta niin tässä tilanteessa sitä ollaan oltu ennenkin, että niin kuin loppupeleissä luotto on kova. Et siinä vaiheessa, kun ne kasataan finaaliin saakka, niin kyllä sieltä niin kuin teemme alkemistit ja shaisse muuttuu kullaksi. Is that shit will turn to gold? Siitä hetkestä kukaan biisiä tekemään, mulla on tarina päässä. Niin tuota, I'm sure it didn't start as shit. Laulumelodiat, Florin, Markon ja Troin äänet on ollut pääsisällä koko ajan. Kyllä mulla on hyvin selkeä näkemys, miltä ne biisit tällä hetkellä tulisi kuulostaa. Totta kai ne muuttuu vielä hirveästi, kun niitä treenataan ja sovitetaan bändin kanssa. Ne on syytäkin muuttuu, mutta Mulla itellä on tällä hetkellä hyvin selkeä kuva jo kaikista biisistä. I've got to say, I mean I've watched shows with guys on like mixing boards and stuff. How those guys know what all those fucking buttons and switches and everything do? It completely and utterly amazes me. Uh, I mean, I would I would literally just be standing at that huge ass board of buttons and switches going day. Yeah. Although the process is both passionate and rigorous, nobody cares to work all the time. What else can you do in a small cabin in the woods then? Yeah, yeah, vähän niin tällaista niin just parhaillaan näkyy, että kahvistelua ja höyryttelyä ja sitä aina välillä tehdään jotain, joka toivottavasti on järkevää. <laughs> Katsellaan leffoja ja saunota ja istutaan paljus. It seems the album nice. is progressing smoothly. Or what do the culprits think themselves? Itse biiseistä nyt, kun eilen kuuntelin noin 12 kappaletta läpi, kyllä niistä hyvin optimistinen fiilis jäi. Rykkimentti on hyvällä mallilla ja niin kuin luotto on kuitenkin ollut innistäänkin jo silleen, että kun pannaan tää lauma kasa pisteen niitä niin kuin purkkiin, niin tulokset ovat olleet yleensä hyviä. Et, ja mulla on sellainen kutku niin kuin tässä, että oma kiinto on kova, kun on taas niin kuin vähän niin kuin verta niin sanoakseni. Niin, niin, se mä haistan, että kaikilla muillakin on se sama juttu. So humble. So humble. Stay tuned for the next episode. Right, well, we can skip the, the in the next video stuff, because we're going to see that in the next video. Himwe, what's going on? Yeah, weird, very weird to see Marco with glasses. During the last 18 months, there's been a lot going on in the composer's head. Now that all songs have been written, As you it's maybe be, time to take a peek into the Nightwish writing process. Miten musiikki oh, syntyy? Well, congratulations. Can we get some hype in chat for Nimue? Congrats. Those of you out there on YouTube, Nimue announced that she just became a grandma this morning. So, yay! Congratulations, Nimue. Woohoo! Very exciting. Very exciting. All right, let's keep it going. Se syntyy aina sillä tavalla, että tulee palava halu kertoa joku tarina tai päästä höyrytulos pään sisältä. Joku asia vaivaa tai innostaa, inspiroi. Joku asia on vaikuttanut niin vahvasti, että syntyy semmoinen palo, että tämähän voisi muuntaa musiikiksi. Eli yritetään löytää juuri oikea fiilis, oikeat instrumentit, oikeat lyrikat siihen tarinaan, mitä haluaa kertoa. Ja sitä sitten väännetään kuukausitolkulla, että saa mieleisen itselleen. Ja sen jälkeen, kun tuntuu, että nyt on oma takki tyhjä, mulla ei enää mitään annettavaa tähän kappaleeseen, niin siinä vaiheessa esitellään kappale muille bändijäsenille ja käydään saa tästä parhaimmillaan. Se on koskaan tehnyt ainuttakaan kappaletta 
Especially when you're putting out music the quality that Nightwish puts out. Making of the album, yeah. Mielestäni tarina tai teema, josta haluaa kappaleen tehdä, niin me aina näen sen ikään kuin lyhyt elokuvana. Jokainen näistä biiseistä on ikään kuin soundtrack sille lyhyt elokuvalle, joka siellä pääsisällä näkyy. Et jos tästä tarinasta tehtäisiin leffa, niin minkälaista musiikkia taustalla olisi? Siltä pohjalta nämä biisit aina syntyy. Writing is elaborate work. What kind of methods have been used? Me on ehdottomasti parhaimmillaan ja aamulla, että yhtä... Yeah, Nimue, we, we, went with, we went with the individual things to be able to kind of zip through it as fast as we can. I apologize. People did bring me to, uh, did bring it to my attention that you had that full video. Um, and I saw that it was like two hours and 15 minutes long or something. And everybody was like, you kind of added in some extra stuff in there. Um, maybe we'll come back and, and, and like do yours, uh, do the extra stuff from yours that you had or something. But I had a plan for content. I'd been kind of broadcasting all weekend that I was going to be doing both this and the making of Imaginarum, um, and stuff. So yeah, uh, I'm not blaming you, Apex, jackass. It was my decision. I am not saying that you guys decided. <laughs> Damn, so touchy, so sensitive, chat. Good grief, y'all. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to quit watching you turds and get back Siisi, to the video. I'm going to quit watching you turds and get back to the video. I'm going to quit watching you turds and get back sitten aamusumpi kooraa ja biisin teko. Sitäkin mä oon kokeillut, että tuota, pistää kello soimaan kolmelta yöllä. Nää mulla on sanelukone tässä vieressä ja heti kun herään, niin laitan ne ajatukset tuota narulle tai käyn soittelemaan jotain ja pakotan itteni kymmeneksi minuutiksi soittaa jotain juttuja sitten kuuntelee aamulla, minkälaista sille on tullut. Sieltä on jotain hauskaa jäänyt käteen. He's actually bringing up something very cool and very good. So it's a very good psychological strategy. Um, a lot of people used to tell you that like um, reading or studying before you went to bed was not a good thing. Um, it's actually a very good thing because there have been studies done that show that the thing you're doing before you go to sleep um if it's something that interests you or something that you've got to figure out, your brain will actually, during sleep, your brain will start to process that stuff and break it down. And you may wake up with like an epiphany, uh, epiphany moment um, for something that you were studying. And if you have like a notepad next to you or, or a recorder, like Tuomas is saying here, you can actually wake up and record those things because a lot of the time you'll wake up and you'll kind of be remembering what you were dreaming about, but you go back to sleep and then you don't remember. Um, but very interesting stuff. Um, there, there was a study with a guy that had never skied before. And, um, they took one of those big skiing simulators, um, where you're actually standing on like a, a platform. Um, and so this guy had never skied before. Um, they put him on this simulator, um, like starting two hours before his normal bedtime. And then they hooked him up on um, brain sensors that could kind of, uh, they've got the technology now where they can actually kind of almost see what you're dreaming of. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a video recorder kind of a thing. They, they have to, they have to basically study your dreams. They have to get you to wake up and tell, tell them what you're, what you were dreaming about so that they can sort of translate what it was that they were seeing in these images. But anyway, so they put this guy, you know, on this simulator, then they'd put him in bed and put the, put the nodes on his head, um, to be able to re read the electronic waves, uh, electromagnetic waves going through his brain. And, um, they found that he would wake up and it wasn't that he was necessarily always dreaming about the skiing part of it, 
but he said he he would wake up and he would be dreaming about walking on snow and kind of feeling how the snow compresses under his feet which was you know a, a translation into how the skis would react in cutting through the snow whatever so anyways they did that they put him on the simulator for 2 hours put him in put him to bed he he kind of dreamed a lot about the skiing simulator while he's went while he was sleeping he woke up the next day and he was measurably better at the skiing simulator than before you went to bed so interesting stuff for you guys so if any of you out there are going back to school or still young enough that you're going to school going to college it's okay study that stuff while you're going to bed your brain will sit and process that stuff while you're sleeping so there's a little j-man tip for the morning let's go Kyllä me ei tiedä aika tarkalleen, milloin se kuulostaa oman korviin just sellaiselta kuin pitää. Se on äärimmäisen miellyttävä tunne. Edellisen levy Storytime biisin kertosää, kun tuli. Mutta se oli samaan että nyt. Tässä, yes. Se on niin mahtava fiilis. Se on parasta koko tässä homma. It's actually, it's actually more than that, uh, Cyber Girl. It really depends on what you go to sleep thinking about. Um, most of what this guy was dreaming about, you know, more like 20% of what he was dreaming about was crap. Um, but your brain actually in sleep, sorry, this will be my last little blurb about sleep. This is my area. You guys know that, um, I'm a brain geek. Um, but basically your brain, um, when you're having weird nightmares, when you're, when you're having, when you have those weird dreams, um, and you wake up and you're like, Whoa, that was totally weird. Like, um, you were in a world where physics didn't work the way that it normally worked. Or, um, you know, you were, you were seeing yourself in a situation where you remember this was something from the past, but it like, it wasn't you in it or people's faces had been changed. That's your brain problem solving. It's not, it's not an acid trip dream. It's your brain fucking around with physics and fucking around with the situation and changing things around slightly to help it try to understand that situation better. Um, and, and that's your brain's way of problem solving. So yeah, when you have these weird dreams, it's not, you're not just having some random weird dream more times than not. It's actually your brain hashing things out in it, in it for itself, trying to figure it out, trying to switch things around slightly to see it from a different perspective, to be able to understand it better. So yeah, if you're, if anybody, if that kind of stuff interests anybody, go look up on, um, you know, dream studies, sleep studies, uh, stuff like that. There's a lot of really cool stuff out there. I'll go ahead. I'll shut up about that. We'll get back to the video on se tarina ja sitten yrität löytää just oikeat ö, melodiakulut ja soinnut, lyriikat, instrumentit siihen. Ja sitten kun se napsahtaa, tiedät, että tämä on just tässä. Niin se on maailman hieno fiilis. Siis se on kanssa yksi metodi, mitä me käytämme, että me haastan joka ikisen kohdan, mitä teen. Vaikka se tuntuisi miten täydelliseltä, joku riffi kertosää, niin mietitään, että voisiko tämän tehdä vaikka jolla toisella soittimella. <laughs> öö, tästä, onko tämä kuitenkin balladi? Öö, voiko tämä olla kaksi neljäsosaa sijasta kolme neljäsosaa? Joka ikinen osa pitää aina haastaa ja pyöritellä. Ja sen takia tämä on just niin aikaa vievää homma. Että Yes, Apex. Eating before going in the water is actually not bad for you. That that's an old wives' tale. Eating before you go in the water is not going to give you cramps. You're more likely to get cramps if you go in the water on an empty stomach. Actually. Yhtelevy vaati vähän tässä vuoden puolesta. Miten kiitos. Tom Dog, you got Swiss cheese brain. Nää viimeiset kuukaudet jopa vuodet on ollut. Jotenkin tosi hedelmällistä aikaa, että ei ole tullut sellaista blokkia. Että on ollut Roope Ankkaa, on ollut tätä tulevaa Nightwishia ja on ollut sitä hyvän näkeväisyysbiisilohtua. Ja kaikki on jotenkin tullut aika vaivattomasti. Tällä hetkellä on kyllä takki ihan tyhjä. Tää 
Tässä on reilu kuukausi, kun sain tuon viimeisen biisin tehtyä. Niin oli vähän semmoinen olo, että nyt ei tarvitse muutaman kuukauden harrastaa. I wonder, I wonder in total time, siis like what the time to put huomasta. all of this together is. Knowing how much goes into Finally, Truomas's composition with the, the orchestra, the orchestra and the choir and all. all. I, I, no, I can't imagine how long. Siis ilma sanoi. Tuli vaan aihe ja sitten säveltelin siinä, kirjoittelin vähän nuotteja ylös ja laitoin. Koko prosessi kesti noin kaksi tuntia. Sanoja tuli tehty sitten muutama päivä. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking like just a, a complete breakdown in the total number of hours spent on it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I heard him say that, but that's what made me think, you know, in total sheer hours, I wonder how much time Maybe we'll over that 12 to 18 months was devoted to creation. Stay tuned. No siis, bandihan ei ole vielä kuulunut. All right, so everybody, I I get that you want me to just focus on the video. That's not me, okay? Even when I sit and I watch TV with my wife, I don't just sit and watch things like laser focus. That's not me. I'm a little bit ADD. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm gonna miss some stuff. Um, I will probably be watching this stuff on my own later to see anything that I might have missed, but I'm here for the group experience. I'm not here to just sit and stare at the screen and not pay attention to what's going on chat. I'm here for the interaction with what's going on and, and everything like that. So I'm sorry. I, I get it. I know a lot of you, you want me to just sit here and see every single thing that said that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So I'm just letting you know that right now. Noita demoja. Mitä nyt Marko muutaman biisin, kun kävi, kävi vähän lauliskelle ja soittaa akkareita tuolle demoille, mutta kukaan muu ei ole kuullut tästä demosta tahtiikaan. Se on jännä paikka ja tänään sitten mennään tuonne Sotkamoon. Istun nuotille ja kuunnellaan demo, demo läpi. Mut niinku sanoin, niin nämä on niitä ihan, ihan huikeita hetkiä. Tää päivä. Se hetki, kun laitetaan, laitetaan ne biisit soimaan. Cool. Alright, episode 4 already, here we go. Snow go. Oh, the beginning of summer camp. Well, there we go. That explains it. When the band had heard the demos and had an inkling of what the new album would sound like, it was time for the Nightwish summer camp. The band would spend three months isolated in the wilds to enjoy the Finnish summer and, most importantly, to rehearse oh, an album full of ago. metal music. <laughs> Tiedät, he katsoivat, että, niin että aika kultaa muistot. Jotenkin mulla oli sellainen kuva, että ne osataan soittaa. Ne, ne harhakuvat karisiin. <laughs> Come on. Marco, man, Marco is so freaking the humble, dude. Their intention to bravely build the rehearsal studio without the technicians. Olihan se suuri shokki. Jumman kautta muusikko, <laughs> muusikko joutui itse laittamaan kannus alusta, alusta pitään kasaan ja vaihtamaan vielä kalvot ja virittämään ne. Tämä on ennen kuulumaton. Julkeita toimintaa, mutta tota, ehkä se tekee ihan hyvää silloin tälle, silloin tälle itsekin tutustua siihenkin puoleen. Näin tosiaan pääsi käymään, että ei ollut tekniikoita paikalla. Aluksi me tultiin tänne hirvittävän kamalajan kanssa ja sitten sitä niin kuin hiki päässä kannettiin laatikoita puolitoista vuorokautta ja viriteltiin tuolla ääniä ja taajuuksia ja kytkettiin joku piuhe ja sitten huomattiin, että se oli päin mäntyä ja sitten kaikki se, mitä me oltiin tehty valmiiksi oh, tuota tarkkaan mun puolella, niin siinä vaiheessa, kun geneelikin miehet tuli mittailemaan, niin kaikki meni tuota, no, niin uusiksi kaikki järjestetty pöytä, piti kantaa pihalle ja tuoda pienempiä ja kääntää toisin, täysin toiseen suuntaan ja kalibroit, ne on tarkkoja kavereita, kun siellä tulee joku 0.2. Gotcha, niin moi. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean... I, when I when we looked at your when we looked at your video, I saw that it was like two hours and something. Everybody was saying that it was. I was expecting something like forty five minutes or something like that. 
Um, and I saw that and then somebody said, and I'm not calling chat out, but somebody said there's some extra stuff in there, like some bonus stuff. And that's why I, that was why I made the decision to go with the individual clips. So if that was misinformation, then, okay, got you. Then my bad. Then we could have went ahead and watched your version of it. I apologize for that. Kahden millisekunnin heijastuma tosta seinästä, niin se, tää suunta ei käy. Go back 20 seconds. Ne on tarkko pienempi mittaile, vaan niin kaikki meni. What are we looking for? Uh, dribble? Or somebody, somebody wanted to go back. Isa. What are we looking for, Isa? Okay, this is where I stopped looking. Tarkkaan mun puolella, niin... Siinä vaiheessa, kun geneellekin miehet tuli mittailemaan, niin kaikki meni tota, no niin uusiksi. Kaikki järjestö pöytä piti kantaa pihalle ja tuoda pienempiä ja kääntää toisin, täysin toiseen suuntaan. Ja kalibroit, ne on tarkkoja kavereita, kun siellä tulee joku 0,2 millisekunnin heijastuma tosta seinästä, niin se, tämä suunta ei käy. After some initial hiccups, the rehearsals got underway and everybody... So, at what point did Yuka leave the band? Because we've got Yuka here doing the stuff with the making of Endless Forms Most Beautiful. Oh, it's going to talk about it? Okay. okay. It was instantly on the same got it. page. Got it. Got it. Got it. 23 or 14? Um, Tää edellistä yhteis yhteisoitusta go. Okay. on okay, aikaa, gotcha. Sorry. mitä sitten Can't. tulee 11 kuukautta tämän kuun puolivälin tienoilla, niin se on yllättävän pitkä aika. Niin siihen nähdään jo ensimmäiset raapimiset ja yritykset, niin hyvää enteileviä. Tänäänkin reenatti, niin kyllä ne alkaa aueta sitten. Tänään oli ensimmäinen vähän semmoinen hevimpi biisi, niin kyllä siinä jo vähän kuuntelin. Kädet pystyy ja mossa. <laughs> En tiedä, onko se iän tuoma juttu, kun ei sen näyttämisen halu ja vimma, niin se on ehkä karsiutunut taas vielä enemmän. Se on vaan biisin ehdoilla, eikä sillä kikkaa. I love that. Tai silleen, nyt, nyt kun sovitellaan tässä kolme kuukautta, niin kyllä sitä prokeetusta tuli. Niin riffi päättyy aina. Fissa. All right, Jambo Mart. Ja kertsin jälkimmäinen pulsko A. Ensin vedin eestä ja sitten laski sissä. Rehearsing the demo songs is teamwork. Each member adds his or her personal touch to the songs. And during the rehearsals, ideas keep on flying. Mut kyllä meidän nytkin, kun ollaan noin kolme biisiä käyty läpi ja näin, niin kyllä koko ajan jotain pieniä, pieniä juttuja, juttuja tehty ja pieniä muutoksia. Ja varmasti sitten just semmosia viimeistelyjä, joilla saadaan sitten ne biisit heräämään henkiin. Tai semmoisia pieniä koukkuja, millä saadaan vähän mielenkiintoa vielä lisää siihen viisin kokonaisuuteen. Jukka kelasi tuossa yhteen osaan, että pitäisikö tähän niin komppiin päähän saada vähän jotain juttuja. Että toi lepää nyt niin tuolla yhdessä soinnissa, että meidän pitäisi ehkä bassolla ja rummulla tehdä joka Lähdetään testaamaan, kokeile filliä. Aha, siihen tulee tollainen paino, me otan bassolla samanlaisen. Mutta no niin kuin pääpiirteissään rakenteet ja muut, niin ei ne ihan hirveästi enää tässä vaiheessa muutu. Ehkä tälle etukäteen, sit kun päästään kaikki tuonne soittamaan, ja niin, niin ne tulee yleensä aina sitten sinne soittotilanteessa kukin vuorolla ehdottelee, mitäs jos lopetettaisiin ja mentäisiin juomaan. Mutta mä kerron, että on ikinä arvostettu sellaista, että on kaksi soolua samassa piirissä. Onko se nyt liidausta? Kai se, missä piirissä pitää alkaa juoda soolua. At least two more soolas. Mutta kaikissa hienoissa biiseissä on vähintään kaksi kitarasooloja. Kaikki hienot biisit alkaa kitaran introlla, että ei ole vielä täydellistä levyä tullut. That's it for this time. The Nightwish train runs on schedule. And in the next episode, more hobos will jump on board. Does not contain any songs from the upcoming Nightwish album. All right, Tom Dog, have a good one.
Oh boy, gonna get lost in Bass Pro Shop. Well, pick me up a new set of, uh, well, no, Bass Pro Shop doesn't. I was thinking sporting good. Never mind. I'm not a fisherman, so enjoy, Tom Dog. I was gonna say, pick me up a new driver. I wanna go golfing as soon as all this shit's over. The Finnish forest welcomed two new denizens as the missing band members arrived at the camp. It was July. The oh, so this was another thing where they put them out like on a weekly basis kind of a thing? Well, yeah, but if I were following the lead of of our commander in clown shoes, I'd have been out golfing like months ago, right? The hottest time of the summer. As I said before, it seems it is appropriate that we should we should do this here, but but when you it's hard to describe what it's like, the peace, the stillness, the the geology, the the biology of the place you know, a strange insect on your hand i've never seen anything like that and uh, the place is just teeming with it it's swirling with life you know the, there's ants all over the place and there's this <laughs> the, the glorious lake there that's uh, we've been having some fun on on that lake <laughs> and it's uh, it's it's wondrous wondrous place wondrous <laughs> Lilith, have a good well, one. I am very sensitive for environment. Nice, go Don't out, put me in the middle of the city Enjoy. and, and it may fun. be super shiny, fantastic studio. Uh, and, and keep me inspired for weeks. And a place like this does. I, I love nature and I love calming. And, you know, we, we can work for hours and then you can relax and, and truly relax. And that, I think, is super Floor. important to keep the vibe going from, from this point off where we're rehearsing until we go into recordings. I, of course, the re recording moment is this gives you that feeling like, OK, what I'm doing now will be this will be it. You know, you're, you're going to be listening to this for the rest of your life. And so is the rest of the world. So if you start thinking like that, it's like, oh, a huge pressure. <laughs> but if the vibe is relaxed and you start to grow confident throughout the rehearsal period and then record in the that same face. environment, I think that is super smart. And there's no fancy studio in the world that can match that. <laughs> Recording an album in a forest lodge has many benefits, but it's not without its problems as well. No siinä on tietysti se, että ei tarvitse lähteä merätä edemmäs kalaa, että meillä on tässä settiä, yläkerrassa settiä, joilla äänitellä ja muut tolleen noin, niin sä pääset aika nopeasti käsiksi että nyt on valmis. Äänitetään pätkä, katsotaan miltä se kuulostaa, niin siinä ei kauaakaan nokka tuhisi. Siinä mielessä se on helppoa ja rentoa albumia, kun tehdään, niin, niin studiot on siinä mielessä turvallisia. Tota noin, niin ne on hyvin I've got amaranth stuck in my head. Ulkoa, tulee joku mekkala tai muuta tolleen, noin tossa jos sulla on joku herkkä laulu. I'm, bo I'm bopping the amaranth while I'm watching the movie. The vocal style of the new front lady has opened new avenues in the songwriting. She has inspired the band and been inspired by them as well. I mean his style. That's, I just, that right there, I can't imagine. I mean... Uh, again, you guys have followed my whole journey, and and I loved uh, I loved what the band did with Annette, um, but Tuomas getting this new tool in his in his tool chest of floor, I can't imagine how much that just opened up the doors for him creatively. Um, and you know, having seen now a few of the the videos of of Floor with Revamp and uh, After Forever, um, you know, seeing what kind of music she was making with those bands, um, you know, somebody has said it a number of times. A number of people have said it. You know, it's like 
Nightwish needed Floor and Floor needed Nightwish. And I so much believe that. I mean, not not that the band wouldn't have done great things without Floor. I, I'm quite sure that they would have. Um, but I don't think they would have ever reached the the level of perfection that I find in the band with their music with Floor. Um and and yeah, I mean for for the band to get this new addition um to the band and be able to you know it's like getting that new toy and getting to tinker around with it and play with it and and oh man I just I can't imagine what that was like I I mean I've got to believe that that was just like a, a heaven send for Tuomas absolutely holy smidge I, I I mean I'm I I do not deny it I mean I am a floor fanboy. <laughs> absolutely 100 percent. there's stuff that tarya did that i absolutely enjoyed that was really good i've been going through the once album um the first three songs of once i thought were really really good probably my favorite stuff with tarya um and uh and i really liked the annette era i really loved those two albums that we went through with annette um i thought that they were fantastic but Floor is floor. I mean, to me, the floor is the best female vocalist on the planet. I do not deny that. <laughs> I would not deny that. I think she is the best vocalist on the fucking planet. Period. End of sentence. It didn't change, of course, but there are things that that. That he that he hears me singing as well me as for example Troy doesn't and, uh, diminish and that doesn't diminish in any way everything that they did before floor they did some fan fucking tastic shit before floor it, and that's the part that the diehard Tarya fans can't seem to wrap their mind around is that by me saying that I'm a four floor fanboy and that I think the best iteration of Nightwish is floor Nightwish. That doesn't in any way diminish what happened before Floor. They did some really amazing stuff before Floor. It just went into the stratosphere for me when Floor joined. Marco, and, and you can just feel that those parts really fit. And at the same time, he's triggering me to do new things. So I'm going to also find new, you know, sounds and borders within my sound and 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 let's just try this and usually you know it just fits yeah you can hear it in your head as he must have heard it when he was writing it and that i think is is so great about him because he he can he can just do that just from his mind <laughs> materiaali kuulemma oli taas niin helvetisti että viimeinen kuukausi on heiltä mennyt siihen vaan että yritetään olla tavalla sakkopinnosta biisiä rakenteesta mutta tota hyvin se oli kotiläksyt tehty että Biisit oli aika hyvin hallussa ja on tässä nyt jo paljon uusia Absolutely, ideoita. Titan. ideoita sinne tänne. Because Tuomas, the way he writes, um, he writes really challenging parts, you know, especially for the, for the pipes. <laughs> <Go figure. laughs> because the pipes are very much part of a, uh, a style and a tradition to play them. So it's always nice for me to 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 really push the, and you can the see it on stage rainy rainy rain but, uh, but it's not to say <laughs> just thinking about it has me emotional <laughs> i'm i've got i've literally got tears welling up in my eyes right now it, it just thinking about that thought that that idea of how having her join the band must have been so inspirational to the whole band it, it just yeah it's it's got me emotional Saturation point you know, it's not there's not pipes over every song, because that would be stupid. But but when the pipes appear, it should be powerful, uh, which I think we achieved on Imaginarium. You know, with I want my tears back when they arrive, people go, wow. You know, listen. To that. <laughs> so we've, we've gone for that as well to try and have a nice balance of the instrumentation. It's, it's progressive. Now I'm gonna have I want my tears back outlook. stuck in my head. It's definitely it's a lot different to Imagine Aaron. But at the same time all the all the key parts are all there. You know, it's still 
absolutely night wish, but there are some some parts that will probably startle some some people. But nothing nothing cheesy. You know, there's going to be no dreadful, pathetic stabs at trying to you know jump on some bandwagon. You know, slap some I don't know shit rap or something on it. There's none of that, <laughs> none of that nonsense. It's uh, it still sticks to its, but what do its you really root think? to its point. But at the same time, there are bits on it that you, you, it makes you go, whoa, you know, blimey. That's... Jos vanhat merkit pitää paikkansa, niin se tulee vielä saamaan ympärilleen aika paljon rakenteita, mitä demolla ei ole vielä kuultamana, jotka vaan pyörii jossain Tuomaksen mielikuvituksessa. It feels even better than ever. I mean, after the adventure of the Imaginarium tour, it now feels a second ago. Now, now that we're all back together, and to embark on this new album is really, really exciting. And already after one day of, of playing through three songs, it's uh, you know hairs up on the on the arms and real sense of anticipation of something wondrous. I can imagine, like <laughs> it's uh, pretty hard to learn Finnish while being in a other country, which is a big part of the reason why I moved to Finland. Blimey, what's and up? hopefully from this point off, things will be become easier. And uh, I already noticed that I do understand people better, uh, kind of depending on the uh, the accent. The you know, it's a very uh, Eastern Finnish accent. I have a harder time. So, but uh, maybe in the end, I'll have the thickest. <laughs> Eastern accent of all. <laughs> what is it? Shift in. I'm Oz free. <laughs> New Recording the new album has kept the band busy for the whole summer, but one of them still found time to move. Vocalist Floor Janssen hauled her belongings from the Netherlands to eastern Finland. And now for a couple of weeks I've been living here in uh, in Joensuu. So been full time in uh, Finland enjoying the Finnish summer, which has been extraordinarily warm and uh, light, of course normal for Finnish people that the light is always there also in the night but for me it was new and um, yeah so far I've been loving it. Now Finns are often considered a bit quiet and shy but is this fact or fiction? I think uh, people are um, a little more inward uh, not very easily to accept to to um, let let you in, and uh, but once they do, you get close to a person for real. Um, that I've noticed, and here in Joensuu and the area, people are very helpful. Um, coming here as a as a foreigner, not knowing my way yet, and and I can ask anyone. They even if they don't know, they'll try to help you or super friendly. Hey. <laughs> Puhutko sinä Enlantia? Yes. I am trying to find my way to Prisma, the, the big store. Yeah, uh, you can go straight through and to the bridge. Yeah. And just keep going that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That, that didn't sound like the best right. of directions. Kiitos yeah. <laughs> Kiitos. I found Prisma. I don't know if you can see how huge this place is. Oh, there is one. Row 105, 106. The good um, thing is, they put signs up above every row so you can see what's in there. And for our convenience, they translated it. Sounds but it's like in an Russian. IKEA. So you can choose which language you can't understand in my case. <laughs> my finish is. Uh, I'm sounding like a three year old. Oh, okay. At my yeah, best. Yeah. Um, it's super hard to really have a con You know, I read a thing that Kia actually creates their store floor plans in a way that is meant to get you to where you have to walk through like almost every aisle. And that's kind of cool. I mean, salesmanship, 
But I, I've been there. It's like you go into an Ikea and it's like you're in a freaking maze. I mean, <laughs> you're like, where did, how do I, how the hell do I get out of here? It's like, once you find the thing you want, if you're just there for one thing and you try to find your way out, it's like, where the hell's the cash register? <laughs> you're freaking lost. Conversation, unfortunately. I know a lot of words. So, and, and so reading signs and stuff is becoming better uh, or going to a supermarket and, and uh, but some specific words, of course, you, you don't get to. Yeah, we've got the largest Ikea in the US here in LA. They, they, it just, they just opened it like uh, two years ago. I think two years ago. In your first year, plus um, the grammar structure of the language is so complicated that you really have to know a lot to really make a normal sentence without making mistakes. And um, when you used to be able to express yourself as an adult in your own language or as I can do in English, for instance, um, it's sometimes hard to switch back to very simple talking like I am forced to do in Finnish. So a real conversation when I really want to tell something, I can't do it in Finnish. But basic things here and there, yes, and um, I'm starting to understand better. Also here now in Pohjois Karjala, this county in the northeast of Finland where uh, the accent's different from instance in Helsinki or um, where people... Oh, wow. In Finnish, and they translate it in... Re that's, that's bizarre. People might not know is that the difference, there is a difference between spoken Finnish and official Finnish. So the things that I learn, you know, what's in my book, no one uses that. So, okay, how does spoken Finnish sound like? And how does it sound in this area? And what is the difference? Hey, Lucky, what's going on? Uh, you can only really get a hint of that when you start to know the language a bit better and it's nice to notice that that is something that i now notice a bit better but do you understand what the guys say yes but it depends oh, on Kai. how thick their accent is and how fast they speak <laughs> There is one question that surely interests the fans. Is the Dutch woman already turning Finnish? I love it. <laughs> yeah, I have been an Oma sauna. <laughs> my own sauna, which is, was one of the things high on my bucket list for this country. So also monkey. love it so and monkey. is not completely unfamiliar since we have uh, a Dutch version of it that we call Drop. And uh, yeah, I like both the, um, the candy as the ice cream, as the, uh, the booze, the salmiaki booze. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> salmiaki. And that is a fact. Without hot sauna and cold beer, life is more boring and Finnish grammar more difficult. Seuraavassa, <laughs> but I'm making it weird now. Seuraavassa jaksussa, seuraavassa jaksussa, seuraavassa jaksussa. <laughs> First impression is that... Yep, pay fix. Wait, I thought we were on... I must have lost track. We're on episode 7. As summer turned to fall, the springtime demo recordings had been transformed into final tracks. Well, almost. No nämä sessiot on mennyt käsittämättömän jouhavasti. Ollaan suorastaan edellä aikataulua. Tota, Flori on vetänyt huikealla kaksi biisiä päivässä tahtia. Marko taas soittaa bass puolessa toista päivässä. Emppu soitti komppikitarat viikossa. Look at the... <laughs> did, did you guys see the, the, the thing she's got duct taped to the top of the headset? <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Marko taas soittaa bass puolessa toista päivässä, Emppu soitti komppikitarat viikossa. Me vaikka ne oli sen verran hyvin treenattu tällä kertaa, että 
että meni näin sujuvasti. Ja ollaan haettu vähän semmoista enemmän bändifiilistä koko touhuun. Että edellisellä levyllä oli kahdeksan raita ja komppikitaraa, että kyllä me kahdellakin pärjätään. All right. No, it's okay. No, yeah, two almost challenged me uh, using everything I have to offer. <laughs> High, low, soft, whatever, but definitely lower stuff and very soft and intimate things. Um, something that, more by coincidence, was something that I kind of missed doing. Something I haven't explored much. And to almost wrote parts where I have, uh, you have to use this completely and go into it entirely. And uh, I am very happy with what came out there. And, and I think the variety in vocal styles and sounds also by that became very fast and 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 yeah i'm very proud of it <laughs> and and it looks like a glasses case yeah, or something do, it looks like this, some folding way, case that they've got the there has a me, spacer MC, uh, on an album that uh, like this that i didn't write myself so can thomas and, and marco write things that really challenge me you know my voice how does that work and it came out so fitting <laughs> amazing it called for a celebration and those who were invited got to hear the new material for the first time first impression is that this is going to be a really good album uh, that's what i thought it looked kind of like a glasses case or something Floor but i'm sure it's something job. soft it's like i mean I've i don't heard think you put a hard glasses forever, case in there as a buffer <laughs> Or a filler. Had. This is amazing songs and an amazing voice. And there's two people or two groups of people that are found together. There's Floor and the band, and now that's one band, and it's just amazing. And it's early, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the albums, if not the album, 2015. It was to me. It was Wonder completely what she's singing there. different she to what looks I a little angry at first, and it was just a punch in the face. So it it has really blew me away. So. It was great. I'm I'm really looking forward to the release and I'm really looking forward to the reaction of the people. Maybe think, weak fantasy, uh, yeah, could be. If they feel the same then uh, yeah, they will be blown away directly. It was time to pack up the summer camp. But the adventure continued. Next time, we'll dive into the orchestral parts of the album. London welcomed with rain the eager rockers who had once again come to Angel Studios to record the choir, orchestral parts and percussion for the album. Let's, let's get in. Welcome to the Angel Studios in London. Nice. Where we are recording choirs and orchestra and percussion and children's choir for uh, the upcoming album. We already recorded some percussion yesterday but today they brought out a whole new set of toys. Awesome room. Good morning. Good morning. The place was already familiar to many of the musicians. Look at all those fucking buttons and switches and knobs and sliders and what the how the fuck do you know what all that shit does? Työskennellään näitä ihmisten kanssa, niin kyllä se on tässä vuosien varrella tullut jo tutuksi, mitä he osaa tehdä. Että ei se sillä tavalla enää yllätyksenä tule, mutta joka kerta se kyllä... Right dazed. I hope that you have. But the amount of data on that is not even close. But also that the people are clearly willing to dig into this whole thing. We have been the same type for 10 years, and we still have to come to these sessions. This one's all right, isn't it? I think. Perfect. Best I've ever seen. Sorry. Best I've ever seen. Perfect. Good. What do you want to start with? You all together? We're starting with, um, oh, we're doing it everyone together, yeah. All together, right, yeah. Siis ihan uskomatonta ammattitaitoa. Ja niin kuin sanotaan näin, että niin kuin eilenkin äänettiin etnisiä perkussioita, niin siinä on kaverita, jotka on soittanut 
Star Wars-leffoissa. Ja niin kuin, siis sanotaan, mm, toi nice. Hans Simmerin. Niin Tai with the Iron Maiden shirt. Se on aika, tunti itsensä aika, aika humparumpaliksi. A humpa <laughs> drummer? Paikoin. What's a humpa aika, drummer? Aika, aika mahtavaa. Niin kuin, että Prima Vista on niin äijillä hallussa. Että pistät naaman eteen mitä vaan, niin siltä lähtee. Viimeistään kolmas ohto on jo hyvä. Despite getting emotional, okay. they still found time for some charity work. Is he drinking? Dr. Pepper? How do they divide the work between the band and the orchestra? Me teen kaikki orkesteri sekä kuorosovitukset koskettimilla. Soitan sinne kaikki. We'll have to get to that sometime, Dazed. Jouset, prassit, puupuhaltimet, niin kuin miene kuulen, että orkesterin pitäisi soittaa. Ja sitten Pip kirjoittaa ne orkesterille pans? sopivammaksi. We got pans? Pysytään mahdollisimman orjallisena sille alkuperäiselle idealle. Mutta totta kai me kaikki halutaan, että Pippi laittaa sitä omaa käden jälkeen sinne myöskin. Occasionally he'll say to me, just go mad, write what you want, which was like the, goat, the, um, the scare tale thing, you know, and like the ghost <laughs> right, you know. Um 90% of my work these days, because he's so, he is so thorough, is in actually orchestrating and taking what he's done, uh, whereas on some of the songs he's maybe have written a string pad. You will listen to the final version, and most of my work has been what we call under the hood. In other words, I've taken his inversions. If I know that he doesn't want to go much higher on the string pad, then I will take that and transpose it for real strings. But obviously, um, you know, he's playing string pads, and I have to adapt that to the size of an orchestra. You know, but we work very closely on that. How does it feel when the last missing pieces for the album are finally there? A lot of the Nightwish fans um, are going to really latch on to <laughs> it because there is much more of a band focus. And I think, um, although I've written a lot of orchestration, I, from what I, I believe is, is that the final mixes will focus on the fact that when the orchestra are heard, the orchestra are big as hell, okay? Uh, where, but the band are going to shine through in the areas where they need to shine. So, you know, it, it may be quite much more of a successful marriage between the choirs and the orchestra and, and the band. When asked about the secret of the continuing success of Nightwish, the answer comes immediately. Well, he's a genius, isn't he? You know, he's, he does what he does. Yes, he's, he I mean, is. he's unique. He is unique in the world of rock composers, and I put him up with the very best, um, you know, streets above the likes of the Rick Wakemans and people like that. So there is no one on the planet that does what he does. There's a few that would like to, but no one comes close. Agreed. In the next episode, we'll return to Finland and can... Wait, we just watched number eight and this is saying number eight again. Okay, number nine, there we go. I was... Thought I was losing it, which is Talking about altogether recording, possible. But... At some point, we're bound to hear the terms mixing right, well, and then... mastering. Let's hear an introductory course on one of the most important stages in making an album. Vielä 30 vuotta sitten niin albumeita äänitettiin sille, että ne mahtu kaikki soittimet 24 raidalle. Nyt tietokoneaikakaudella on mennyt siihen, että raitoja saattaa olla satoja. Normi rockibändi nyt voi mennä vaikka 60 raidalla. Albumin miksaaminen on varmaan hyvin pitkälle sama kuin elokuvan editointi. Meillä on kaikki palaset kädessä, mutta ne pitää saada jonkinnäköiseen tyylikkäisen draaman kaareen sekä balanssiin. With Nightwish, the number of these clips is usually huge. How many tracks are in use this time? No tässä, tämä vii, albumin viimeinen biisi, niin tota, siinä oli, alkoi olla jo vähän vaikeaa. Last track tota, on the album, uh, Great Show on Earth. Tietokone 250 raitaa. 250 tota, tracks simultaneously? Jossain vaiheessa päästiin yli 600. Niin tota, <köhön> sitten piti alkaa sovittaa niitä raitoja yhteen, että miten sen saa soimaan koko biisi. Holy shit, they said a Over normal 600 rock song tracks. 60. And exactly what is on those tracks? No, <köhön> siinä on bändi, eli kitarapassarummut. Sitten lauluraitoja on muutama kymmenen. 
sitten on efektiraito ja kaiken näköistä merenkohinaa ja lintujen lauluja. Ja, tota, orkesteriraitoja on, kuinka monta niitä oli. Niitä luontoista tulleita raitoja oli, oliko niitä yli 150. I like that in Jesus Christ. Että kyllä sen pikkuhiljaa sitten kasautuu. So, what kind of equipment should be used to listen to Nightwish music to get the most out of it? Totta kai me tähätään yeah. siihen, että se kuulostaisi, kuulostaisi niin kaikista laitteista hyvältä, mutta onhan siellä niin paljon sellaista niin alapää jyrinää ja jymähdyksiä, että kyllä se, että pääsee maksimaaliseen siihen, mitä me on haettu sillä siihen fiilikseen, niin kyllä se vaatii, että on niin kunnon supparia, jonkunlaiset tota, kohtuu kaiuttimet. Jos kuuntelet läppäristä, niin voi olla, että missä jotain. I, I will say that I've noticed that when I play uh, songs out on my TV uh, with a, a good sound system with a, a true subwoofer, it does add something to the to the songs for sure. Definitely. The end result of the mixing process is then given to the mastering engineer. Joo, no siis miksauksessa ne tietysti käsitellään satoja. Unfortunately, I don't live, I, I live in a place where I can't crank it like I used to be able to. When I lived in South Carolina, we were on a house on an acre and it's like, I would blast my music so people out on the road, which is like 700, 800 feet away, could hear my, my stuff playing in the house, but can't do that now here where I'm at. Raitoja, niin täällä mun tehtävä on enää sitten käsitellä sitä valmista miksausta, eli mä pelkkää stereoraitaa. Absolutely. Stereoraita on, mutta siis masterointihan on, niin kuin, se on sävykorjailua ja dynamiikan muokkausta, että joku tykkää, että se on ydinfysiikkaa mun mielestä, se ei ole edes. Hey, wait, 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 what did I do? What did I do, my short, keyboard shortcuts? Um, did I go forward? Yeah, I did, I went forward. What happened? Hang on, bear with me, we can't do a take two here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I was trying to turn off my camera and, uh, all right, help me out. Where, where the hell were we? I restarted nine. Okay. Where were we? Help me out. Uh, Palaset kädessä, mutta ne pitää saada uh, We saw that. No, <köhön> siinä on bändi, eli kitarapassa on sitten ja muutama kymmenen. No, we Kipoja. saw that. Pelkästään. Että kyllä se on pikkuhiljaa. Let's go, let's go right about here. A little further? Totta kai okay, me yeah, tähätään siihen, että kuulut, kuulut. Yeah, yeah, talking about whatever you listen to it on. Mitä me on haettu sillä siihen fiilikseen, niin kyllä se vaatii kunnon supparia. Just about here? Okay. We'll stop here. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, I was trying to turn my camera off and my keyboard shortcuts have multiple actions. The end result of the mixing process is then given to the mastering engineer. Joo, no siis miksauksessa ne tietysti käsitellään satoja raitoja. Niin täällä mun tehtävä on enää sitten käsitellä sitä valmista miksausta, eli mä pelkkää stereoraitaa. When the album is released, millions of people will hear it. There is one person very close to the Nightwish camp, though, who will not pop the disc in his player. I <laughs> Uh, alusta loppuun kokonaan once albumin jälkeen, kun se, on, niin kuin, kun se valmistui. Niin en ole kuullut sen jälkeen niin yhtään kokonaista levyä alusta loppuun. Enkä tule kuuntelemaan. There you have it. In the next episode, we'll run you through the whole process once again, from demos to the finished master. And look back on this curious journey we've taken together. All right. Got to go old school. There we go.
Yeah, I, I don't understand why he's saying he doesn't listen to the full albums. Days, is it, it's just saying coming up, right? So we're not missing anything by skipping the coming up because we're going to see the, we're going to see what's coming up in the next episode. Am I not, am I wrong? I'm getting conflicting information. All right, let's do a test. Let's let's go back. Let's do a test. Um Am I what am I Episode 10? Is that where we were? No. Wait. Yes? No? What did I do? Uh... We were, yeah, we were on 9. Why is it not... There it goes. There's 9. Alright. So let's go to the... Coming up. Alright. In the next episode... Journey we've taken together. All right, we're going to science it out. <laughs> you can't really use this until the no, album is out. That, that, <laughs> that cannot be so... That's the first seal. <laughs> Nobody can ever see that. Okay, so I missed them laughing a bunch. Why does it say number eight? But it's number ten. After eighteen months of oh, hard work, oh, oh, the band oh, now oh, has okay. in their I, hands I, I, I get it films now. most beautiful. I get the it now. The forthcoming eighty-minute album. What kind of memories do they have from the recordings? Äärimmäisen sujuva, suht helppo biisintekoprosessi, hauskin nauhoitussessio ikinä, todella mukavaa Röskön kesäleiri, täynnä ystävyyttä, toivoa, musan tekemistä. Yksi todella ikävä episodi eli tämä Jukan väistyminen rumpupallilta nousee tietysti myös tuota päällimmäisenä mieleen, mutta kaikki siinä ympärillä on ollut silkkaa juhla. Onhan siinä tullut matkan varrella paljon lisää. Et tota, lähdettiin kuitenkin, niinku, no se mitä oli kuullut, oli kuullut Tuomaksen koneen demot, oman demot tietysti ja muuta tolleen, ja sitten niitä pantiin kimppa ja muuta tolleen, no, niinku, lähdettiin kuitenkin rakentaa sitä, niinku huomattavasti enemmän peruspalaa sitten, ja sitten, että miten paljon se on matkan varrella niinku, saanut lisää sfääriä, syvyyttä ja erilaisia elementtejä, niin onhan sitä tosiaan, sitä on tullut paljon. There were quite a few big days during the recordings, but these mid-January days at Finvox Studios Helsinki still felt very special. Nämä päivät on niitä viimeisen päälle ikimuistettavia päiviä. Kyllä koko bändi nauttii tästä, että nyt viimeinkin se on valmis. Sille ei enää tarvitse tehdä mitään, me halutaan tehdä sille mitään. Se on just sellainen, niin kuin me kaikki halutaan sen olevan. Ja tota, nyt saadaan seurata. Ensimmäistä kertaa, kun muutkin sen kuulee, niin kyllä siinä tuntee sellaista tervettä isällistä ylpeyttä. In all are you collecting your Swiss cheese points every ten minutes or so? Um, it, it truly is like reading an epic book or watching a, a monstrous, huge film. And uh, that last piece, which runs in over 24 minutes, Truly is everybody's else. telling me, uh, Milo. Everybody's telling me there's a thing that you can do, like some sort of extra collection thing that you can do. Like you'll get something pop up on your screen at the bottom of your screen. Oh, okay, gotcha. So yeah, 
Every 10 minutes, you can open that box and you can get more. That's not it showing up at the bottom of your screen, Milo, does not let you collect. You've got to click on that box to collect them. Sorry, YouTube, just making sure that uh, Milo is getting the most out of her viewing time on Twitch here. So next time you see that box pop up, Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Okay, perfect. I just want to make sure you weren't missing out on some points. All right, here we go. Journalists from all over Europe came to have a first listen to the album. What did they think of Endless Forms Most Beautiful? Basically, I'm nearly speechless because uh, this album is just amazing in its scope in every respect. Musically, Metal Hammer. From content, from the making. I want that position. Metal Hammer. Um, to keep right, a long man, story it... short, Fantastic. Mentailua. No merkkasin tuonne paperia takapiisin kohdalla, että nyt on niinku selvä, että Flor on paras. Ja se on oikeastaan tullut jo käykoilla esille, mutta nyt se niinku varmistuu lopullisesti. No onneksi oli nähnyt Daamin muutaman kerran jo lavalla ja tiesi, että mihin nainen kykenee, niin ihan siis huikee. Että kyllä kaikki odotukset mitä oli, niin ehdottomasti lunasti kyllä tällä levyllä. Uh, well Flor certainly fits in right away very easily. She's... she's completely coping with that very well. Um, it's very distinctively Nightwish. It's uh, it's not going to uh, leave the fans disappointed. All the things that you want from them are there. Um, oh, okay. The last <laughs> song is something a little bit different. I haven't heard anything like that from Nightwish before. It's very ambitious. It's very varied. There's an awful lot in there. There's going to be some big surprises. And it's probably the best thing I've heard from Nightwish. Excellent. We'll be back later as the story of Nightwish continues. I'm looking forward to... Hey, what's up, Irby? ...the response from the fans as well. I'm looking forward to how people react to it. Ensimmäisenä tulee meille suuri kiitos, että tämä odotuksen määrä on näin valtava. Se on ihan karma, että jos ketään ei kiinnosta. <laughs> että tuota, ei tässä nyt ole enää kuin pari kuukautta. Kiitoksia kärsivällisyydestä ja kiitoksia intohimosta ja... I gotta say... ...uskollisuudesta. Dumas is a, is a handsome guy. He's a handsome guy for sure. Uh oh, release of the first single. Order on iTunes. <laughs> right, Apex. February 13th was a special day for the band, and for the fans as well. That was the day when the first single from the new Endless Forms Most Beautiful album was released. And as we all know by now, the first single was Elan. But was that the original plan? Valinta oli tosi helppo siinä mielessä, että se oli ensimmäistä tota, Hattulan demotussessiosta, mikä tehtiin Teron kanssa, niin se oli ihan selkeä, että se tulisi olemaan tämä Idi Maru. Eli levyn kahdeksas biisi, mutta sitten oltaisiko me pari kolme viikkoa treenattu bändin kanssa tuolla Röskossa ja sitten Marko ja Troy okay, lähestyi so varovasti, että the first se kuitenkin mitään they change. Tässä on semmoinen niin mukavan haikea meininki Kertsissä ja tää on paljon, Marko sanoi, että on paljon parempi biisi hänen mielestä, että vaihdetaanko ja siinä vaiheessa me oltiin tehty jo videokäsikirjoitusta ja kaikenlaista muuta suunnittelua nimenomaan tämän toisen biisin pohjalle, että Mä vähän mietit, että pystyttääkö mä tässä vaiheessa vielä vaihtaa aikaa sinkkuun. Hyvin pystyttiin. Ja oikeassa oli. It was the prime candidate for a single. I think am when we, we am started I the only one that it makes me a little nervous uh, with that songs, Marco, three, with all of his hair, uh, is around uh, all the of the, uh, the and pyro? And Ilan just <laughs> hit us all as being perfect for the first single. <laughs> Leaving the demo version behind and going back to 2015, what makes a good single? Mistä sen tietää, että tämä on se single? Mitä, mitä single-biisistä pitää löytyä? 
En mä näköjään tiedäkään, pitääkö sinne olla muuta. It's generally something that is instantly accessible, instantly hits the person on first listen. That's the main element for a single. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the rest of the album is going to follow, follow suit, which it certainly does not. The video for this song was shot in 11 days in eight different locations. The idea was to bring abandoned places back to life and simply celebrate the beauty of life itself. Uh, again, it's nice to be surprised and I was really surprised how brilliant it is. It's really, really brilliant and uh, Ville has done a just sensational job on it. <sighs> Aivan, aivan huikea tekellä. Niin kuin äsken sanoin Villelle, niin aihe on todella vaikea saada tollanen toimivaksi. Sillä tavalla, että sitä videosta jäisi katselijalle positiivinen, hyvä mieli, laittaisi leveän hyvyn kasvoille ilman, että se tuntuu missä vaiheessa vitsillä. Ja se on just sellainen. That's all for now. More clips from Nightwish Camp soon. Endless Forms Most Beautiful is not a concept album per se. But during the writing, there were certain recurring themes. Being distracted One by inspiration was locking. the work of what? Richard Dawkins. Levyllä on tämmöinen, voisiko sanoa, tieteellinen uh, lähestymistapa moniin, moniin asioihin. Viisit niin kuin Shatter Before the Beautiful tai uh, Endless Forms Most Beautiful, The Greatest Show on Earth, uh, Alp and Glow, niin jollain tavalla heijastelee tällaista tota, Olemassaolon ihanuutta, sen hetkellisyyttä, evoluutiota, voisiko jopa sanoa, että tämmöistä tieteen runollisuutta, luonnontieteet ja tämmöinen ajattelutapa tuntuu monille ihmisille olevan hyvin kylmä, jopa tylsä ajattelutapa ja se on yksi asia, mitä me toivottavasti <köhö> saadaan tuotu tällä levyllä esiin, että Tiede voi olla äärimmäisen, koska jopa sanoo hengellinen kokemus. We're speaking about a huge subject here, so it's probably right to assume this was not just a passing whim. Ei tää mikään uusi juttu ole, että kuusivuotiaasta lähtien mä oon halunnut olla biologi. Äiti tietää kertoa, että mä oon aina halunnut olla meribiologi. Se ihminen ei varmaan koskaan ole lähtenyt sisältä pois. Et jossain vaiheessa musiikki vei mennessään ja nyt sitten well, seitsemän tehtiin enempi tai vähempi eskapismi hengessä, niin nyt se sitten nosti päätään ja tota, nämä teemat tuli esiin. Levy, levyn teemahan on täydellinen, koska niinku se, että miten me ollaan synnytty, miten, miten totta kai me, meistä aika jättää, niin me, me jätetään oma jälkemme tähän maailmaan. Että et se on aika, aika uskomaton, niin yes, it is. uskomaton teema. That's it for this time from the Nightwish Camp. Oh, that was short. See you soon. <laughs> I, I got, I got what you meant, Orlocky. I was just giving you crap. Time I, becomes I quite elusive. I elusive. understood what you meant. When so much is happening and so many things. So much has happened that changed my life fundamentally. That's kind of where I was going. I can't next. believe it's been years, and I can't believe uh, how normal things are in a good way. Like, okay, this is my life today. I'm living in Finland. I'm the singer of Nightwish. I'm extremely proud and happy with the new album. And then there was that first show back in 2012. 
in Seattle that feels like yesterday and 100 million years ago. Like I said, time's elusive. Endless Forms Most Beautiful marked the first Nightwish studio session for two band members. Flor Janssen remembers how it all started like it was yesterday. Because demos for me in the past have always been rough instrumental parts where I start to make my vocals on too. So this was the first time that I got a demo home with music that was sort of already done. Of course with space to change things but this is the instrumental, this is the piano playing your vocal melodies, here are the lyrics. And later when I look back I realize how fantastic it is to get to get the Nightwish demo as a singer and it's, it's a virgin song that you can put your hands on and get, you know, make it ready, make it, make it into a full song ready for the world. That those steps I needed to make in retrospect. Oh yeah, wow, how awesome. And yeah, now I know the melody and oh yeah, the lyrics, they're awesome. How do I, how do I fit that and what kind of vocal type and how was the dynamics? But those were the steps that came after. The other first timer sits behind the drum kit. No siis itse asiassa ei, ei kyllä jännittänyt, koska tavallaan mä mietin sitä, että kuka tahansa tähän samaan tilanteeseen joutuu, niin on yhtä kusassa kuin meikäläinen, eli, eli periaatteessa niin kuin, mä yritin vaan keskittyä siihen, että saadaan, niin kuin, saadaan asiat tehtyä, ja, ja siis, siis aikataulu oli, oli aika, aika nahkanen niin sanotusti. <laughs> eli kahdessa, kahdessa päivässä opettelet 78 minuuttia musiikkia, niin hyvää onnea kaikille vaan siinä, siinä vaiheessa. The band first began rehearsing the songs without vocals. Curiosity soon won, however and the schedules were revamped. Yeah, revamped. I was just curious how the place would look like and I stepped by just to say hi because <laughs> right. I hadn't seen the guys for a while and yeah, how was it going to be like and I had no idea and then I stepped into the room, the guys were playing and oh wow, this is awesome. Uh, but yeah, five minutes later I was like, yeah, but I know this song. It's kind of stupid, I'm just sitting around here, where's the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> Mielestäni niin helpointa tässä oli se, että, että kun Floor oli kuitenkin niin laulamassa. Eli sä kuulet sen kokonaisuuden, niin kuin, mitä niin bändi on tekemässä. Eli on, on basso, kitara, kiipparit, laulu ja troi. Se oli niin helpompi jollain tavalla saada se kokonaiskuva siitä, että miltä tämä musa kuulostaa, ja, ja mihin Floor laulaa, millä rytmityksellä, mihin sä voit ottaa fillejä. Missä, missä tavallaan niin mennään, niin se, se oli niin oikeastaan se tärkeä juttu. Yeah, yeah, it was just a, sort of like a jam of songs that were, you know, that we started to learn and, and to get a feeling into, and then yeah, we just started playing it and me singing it, and that felt like, yes, let's not stop this anymore. riding knots till the end of time. That's it for this time. The journey continues. Onwards, ahoy! Thoughts and feelings. After completing an album, you need to promote it too. During a two-week PR trip around Europe, the band gave interviews to journalists who were eager to hear about the forthcoming album. Endless Forms Most Beautiful. Right, Titan. People reacted primarily to um, now how it would take them I on a journey. Something. A lot of people seem to have visions or seem to, you know, get get a visual when they were listening to the album, which I think is great because it's it has that that in it for sure. Um, I got a lot of compliments on my voice. People were pleasantly surprised with the. Uh, 
the dynamics and the, the different use of voices and uh, mm. yeah, that was that was a big thing and um, a big reaction to the greatest show on earth, a long story and people in general have been reacting to that song a lot, like this is such an epic part. Tavallaan se levyhän aukesi vasta aika pitkälle sitten eniten va- viimeistään siellä Lontoossa, kun äänettiin siellä Lontoossa niitä sinfonia-hommia, että sie- siellä se vasta niinku ymmärsi, että mi- mitä tästä tulee ja miten iso, iso levy taas on kyseessä. But what are the highlights of the album for the artists themselves? Vaikea sanoa tällä hetkellä vielä, että onko jotain sellaista niin erityistä paikkaa, jos olisi niin todella ylpeä. Loppupeleissä kuitenkin niin tollaiset jutut, niin ne, ne paljastuu, kun kuuntelee ajan kanssa. Ne, jotka kestää parhaiten sitä aikaa, niin ne on yleensä niitä juttuja ah. sitten. It makes it the sound a little bit thinner, but also a little bit more like strength. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There are things like high raw stuff that brings out an energy. I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm proud of that. Uh, and then there are there are parts that are com- the complete opposite where I sing super small and tiny and it still has all the heart that I have to give in just that small little sound. To see the That's it. Uh, those things, all of them have something special in them that I'm proud of, but I can't really say that one thing in particular because, yeah, because of the, the, the great challenge that Duomas and the guys have put me into to really use the the everything I have. <laughs> Diane! Love! Such a lovely touch. Nice. That's it for this time. See you again soon. Absolutely, Mr. Marmaduke. All right. So, I'm definitely not missing something here. Dear friends, our journey has reached its destination. Endless Forms Most Beautiful is finally out. This is downtown Helsinki on March the 27th, the day of the release. Neil Skill, what's up? I love it, I love it. I love, I love the music, the sound, and the outfit, and everything about them. And where are you from? From Rio, Rio, Brazil. Wow. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Italy, but I, I just came from London because I live in London and I came yesterday for this event. Okay. What makes Nightwish uh, number one band for you? The diversity of the music, well, we'll all see the lyrics, of course, in my... and uh, I mean, it's like there's a story behind every single page of the lyrics, and every single note is something like gets you inside. And how long have you been standing in the line? I've Run been standing in line since half past nine in the morning. But it's okay, because for the previous album I was here again in Helsinki and I've been waiting for 14 hours, so it's becoming kind of a tradition. <laughs> but it's been brilliant. I mean, the fans we'll jump, we'll jump back when we finish this episode. What can you do? All good for Hey, very good. Niin kuin just ostin, että ainoastaan kuulu kolme biisiä ennen kuin lähdin kaupungille, niin tota Radio Rockilta tuli aina tunnin välein, niin kolme biisiä vasta. No mikä mielikuva niistä on muodostunut? No hyvä, eli sama tahti jatkuu. Mahtava alku. Hyvä kuulu. Minkälainen tapahtuma se oli tavata bändi? Ihan tosi hienoa. En oo aikaisemmin tavannut. Nyt on ihan kikseissä. Minkälainen toi uusi levy on sun mielestä? Onko sä kuulla sitä? Se on ihan uskomattoman hyvä. Mä tykkään. Se on Floron upea ja kaikki muutkin on aivan mielettömän hyviä. Et se on... Mä, ole... Mä rakastan sitä. And so it goes. We bid you all adieu for now. But the Nightwish adventure continues. Yes, it does. Alright, so I'm being told by chat that we missed something about the uh, the the Yuka switch to Kai thing. Um, let's, uh, let's go back. Uh, where was the first one that Kai popped? There's Kai, th- or no, that's, that's Impu. Uh, or is that Kai? I can't tell. Um, 
Anybody have any clue where it might be? Because that was the... Oh, wait. 15 was not the end. The artwork... There's episode 16 and 17 to go. Uh, but I want to... Surely it wouldn't be in there, right? What is this? Official trailer. The artwork of... Um, hmm. All right, Dribble. It's a separate video. You have 28 episodes. See, that's that's why everybody was saying that that yours had stuff that the official press release stuff didn't have. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do number 16. We'll go, we'll go do a search. Lula oli hyvin for... tarkka visio suurimpaa osaa niitä. They added it. Jannen kanssa niitä palotettiin edes takas varmaan puolen vuoden ajan. Ja lopputulos on kova. Warauk, thank you for joining. The collaboration between Nightwish and the artist known as Toxic Angel started with the compilation album Highest Hopes in 2005. Since then, he has created over 5,000 illustrations for the band, including the cover wow. art for Endless Forms Most Beautiful. I love that cover art. Well, I think more than more than before, more than any other Nightwish album, he uh, he came up with the for each song, each song, uh, he came up with a a basic idea. And then it was filtered through us all, and we all um, had comments on it. And uh, but there were there were initial ideas about how it should look, and he realised that just beautifully. The artwork is just stunning. It took over seven months for Toxic Angel and his partner Gina to finish the graphics for the new album. According to him, the most challenging thing was to capture the essence of a song in a picture because the moods can change drastically within a single song. Well, challenging yeah, or not, the like artwork is times. simply breathtaking. I think Nightwish fans want artwork. They want the physical product. I'm pretty sure of that. They wanted to, to, to seriously absorb it and get to the state where we are and feel it the same way as us. I, I agree with that 100%. That's it for this time. We'll be back soon. I mean, that's, with brand that's new something clips. to me. You know, it's like I've loved. Where is. So, you know, you got. To me, it was like, you know, the the first the first one that I got, the first album that I ordered that got here was Human Nature. And, you know, it was like, man, this is so cool that it like it's a book, you know, and it's got all this cool artwork and the lyrics and stuff. And then I and then I got Imaginarium and it's the same thing. It's like this little book. I thought that was so cool. I mean, there's something just super cool about having this little book uh, that comes with the CD. You know, I mean, that's really cool. I mean, I've bought a lot of albums and seen a lot of little cool things that that bands do with albums and stuff. But I thought that that was super cool. Um, so, uh, Nimue, I think what we'll do is it, we'll, we'll finish out this list the way that we've got it here. And um, we'll go back and, and we've got some more material. I mean, you guys know me. I, I want to dive into all things Nightwish, everything that I can find. I'm definitely all about that. Um, the reason I was avoiding the two hour and 15 minute video that you had um, was, you know, because I had a plan for more stuff. I had kind of been telling people all week we were going to do certain things today. And, um, you know, I didn't want to have to spend 
you know, two hours and 15 minutes on the one thing. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and, and we'll, we'll catch up on anything that we've missed. We'll definitely, we'll do, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be able to get it in tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is going to be the music that made J man. We're going to do that. I don't know how long that's going to take. I don't think it's going to take more than an hour, hour and a half ish is kind of what I've got in my head. Um, so that'll leave some room for tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow we bump back and we, we check out some stuff that we may have missed, some content content that we may have missed. But let's go ahead. Let's get uh, episode seven, 17. Yeah, 17. The Tour Rehearsals. Now that the album is released and the tour is underway, it's good to rewind the documentary tapes a bit and go to a very chilly warehouse to follow the very first <laughs> tour rehearsals. Treeneistä jäi se fiilis, että tuota, biisit saatiin yllättävänkin hyvin kasaan. Että muutama lisäpäivä nyt ei välttämättä olisi ollut pahitteeksi, että oltaisiin saatu treenattua vielä vähän lisää biisejä, mutta meillä on New Yorkissa vielä kaksi päivää ja sitten lukematon määrä soundcheckia. This ancient unseen stream, a shudder before the beautiful. I like how they've got kind of the backdrop there and stuff to get them, I guess, in the field. Uudet biisit on uusia biisejä sillä, niin kuin, sillä lailla, että niissä on tiettyjä niin kuin, muistamisia ehkä vähän enemmän vielä. Mutta toisaalta niitä on myöskin suuri mielenkiinto soittaa. Kaitsu siellä tietysti niin kuin, uutena miehenä ja rytmiryhmän niin kuin, olennainen osa. Ja sen mä huomasin, että kyllä Kaitsulla on sellainen niin kuin, vähän enemmän niin kuin, vanhan rokin lähestymistapa verrattuna Jukan soittoon. Että Jukalla on enemmän takapainosta, bassaria, raskasta sellaista nimenomaan niin hevityylistä. Kaitsulla on sitten taas sellainen, että Miten mä nyt sanoisin? Jos mun pitäisi vetää tässä niin kuin semmoinen nopea ero jostain legendan kautta, niin sanotaan sille, että Kaitsula on enemmän Ian Pace kuin Jukal oli enemmän John Bonham. Miten treenasit John Bonham? vanhat biisit? Mä, mä vedin ihan niin kuin tein arrit itselleni paperille, eli kirjoitin biisit ihan niin kuin suurin piirtein nuotin niin kaikki lapuille. Eli Blokkasin niin Jukan jutut sinne. Ja itse asiassa täytyy sanoa, että mulla meni Storytimein keskiosassa on semmoinen helvetinmoinen helvetin hässäkkä, mitä ei tavallaan moni edes tajua, kun kuuntelee levyä, että mitä siellä tapahtuu. Mutta siellä on niin 16 tahtia, ensin mennään semmoista tiettyä patterniä, sitten tulee 8 tahtia toista patterniä ja sitten tulee vielä... As a matter of fact, what he's talking about here... <köhön> That one reactor that I was talking about that I, I've seen a few uh, of his reactions to Nightwish, he was talking about this very thing, how one part was in, you know, one kind of beat or measure or whatever, and then another part was in an altogether different measure, and, and I thought that that was cool. Kolme kertaa, anteeksi, kaksi kertaa kahdeksan, yksi, yksi kertaa Yeah, seita. he was talking about that, how one was eight and one was seven. Hässäkkä missä mulle meni kaksi puoli tuntia laittaa se paperille, koska sitä ei niinku levyllä, le, levyltä ei tavallaan saanut sitä kuvaa, mutta mä katsoin sitä Storytime, Showtime Storytime DVDtä, niin sieltä blokkasin sen niinku nuotti kerralla. Se on niin hieno juttu, että se on pakko soittaa, niin kuin oikeasti menee. Nämä on mun mielestä tärkeitä juttu, että, että myöskin niinku fanit, kun ne kuulee niin vanhat biisit, niin ne pitää mun mielestä mennä niin kuin ne menee. Talking about the old songs, one of the key things for a successful live show is to build an epic set list. No, esimerkiksi joku Sleeping Sun oli täysin Florin toive. Et se on yksi hänen lempparibiiseistään tota, meiltä, että voitaisiko millään kokeilla. Ja se sopii hänen äänelleen hyvin, se on kiva vetää monen vuoden tauon jälkeen. 
Stargazers on toinen semmoinen, mitä on, me on itse halunnut pitkään soittaa. Musta siinä on hauska, hauska fiilis. Ja, tota, lähinnä nyt silleen, että tota, biisejä, mitä on mukava soittaa, mitkä ei tullut pakkopullalta, mitkä sopii Flori äänelle. Flori äänelle. Flori äänelle. Flori äänelle. Mitkä ei tullut pakkopullalta, mitkä sopii Flori äänelle. Flori äänelle. <laughs> niin. Yeah, there's a joke there. there. Mm. Sille, että tota, olisi niitä mukava varmaan niitä vanhoja kaivella vähän enemmänkin, mutta tota, tässä vaiheessa mennään näillä mitä on. And in general, if I could go on tour tomorrow, I would be very happy to. I'm, I'm feeling super ready. We're, we, yeah, we've been sitting on this yep, release legacy, you know, for a while exactly now. It's ready, it's there. And I can't wait to share it with the rest of the world. Yleisesti ottaen treenistä ja hyvä maku. On siellä hiontaa. Se oli jotain kiinalaista sodan käyttötaitoa vai mitä se nyt olikaan se, että niin mikään suunnitelma ei kestä kosketusta viholliseen. Eli toisin sanoen nice, lopulliset Marco. jutut kuitenkin aukeaa vasta siinä vaiheessa, kun me ollaan tehty muutama show. Yeah, imagine, Treenaus opettaa treenaamaan, keikkailu opettaa keikkailu. Wise words from the old man. We'll see soon. Until then, enjoy the shows, the music and life itself. Yeah, I, I liken what uh, what uh, Marco said there to it's like there there's a there's a boxer that used to say you know every fighter's got a plan when they come into the ring until they get they until they get hit in the face the first time, um, and I can imagine that you know playing live music is is very similar you know it, it, you can rehearse and you can rehearse and you can rehearse but until you get out there in front of the the huge audiences that they play in front of, you know, and you get that first wave of emotion that comes from the audience and, and stuff like that, that, you know, you, you can't really know how you're going to react and what you're going to do and how you're going to play until that. Um, yeah, exactly. No, that that's, yeah, that was the quote. Yeah. An another version of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some, uh, some boxer, I'm sure kind of took that and, and, used it in a boxing sense um but yeah i mean that's uh, so many things in life you know you might have a plan for something in your head and and the way that you think it's going to go and no matter how meticulously you plan that until you actually get in that situation and are actually doing it and putting it into action you don't know what it's going to be like right um so yeah that was a cool quote by uh by uh marco i love that so um let's do this somebody had linked uh somebody had linked the uh they said they thought they found the part with um with yuka yo on all right so what is this title nightwish yuka forced to take a break due to health issues so it's not numbered like it was a part of those releases so uh let's go ahead and let's check this one out yep i went back and found it this was in yours. Gotcha. And Nimue, I promise I will go back and watch all of yours and see the stuff that I've missed. And, and uh, I mean, we'll do it on stream. Uh, we'll, we'll pull out maybe the parts that you had that I didn't have um, in this part of it. And, and we'll definitely listen to uh, check that out. I, I meant no disrespect in not doing your version. And I'm, I'm sorry if that came across like I was dissing you. That was not intended. Karsin unettomuudesta jo. Ja vuosien ajan ja se on ollut, ollut seurana jo aikaisemmilla kiertoilla ja ne kyseessä ei ole mikään kyseisen vaivan kevyin muoto, vaan right, ei ole ajan. Joo, olen kärsinyt unettomuudesta jo ja vuosien ajan ja se on ollut, ollut seurana jo aikaisemmilla kiertoilla ja ne kyseessä ei ole mikään kyseisen vaivan kevyin muoto, vaan I, I've Puhutaan suffered with it for brief bouts, uh, and I, I can't imagine. Joka kanssa toimeen tuleminen on aika aika haastellista ja ihan normaali olosuhteessa saada sitten se varan epäsäännöllistä. Yeah, and I, I was just living a normal, trying to live a normal life and dealing with some insomnia. Uh, as a matter of fact, at the time, I don't think I was even really. I think I had just gotten out of school. I hadn't found a job yet. Um, maybe it was kind of the stress from that. Um, knowing that I had just gotten my degree in psychology and I was in Greenville, South Carolina, trying to find a job in, in psychology and it was rough. There's just not much there unless you wanted to go work in like a psych ward at a mental health hospital or something like that. 
Um, and I, I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. I didn't, I didn't want to go and work in a mental health hospital. Um, you know, I wanted to be more on the, like the outpatient treatment side of things. And so I, maybe I was suffering with some stress due to that. I just spent all of this freaking money getting a degree in psychology. And, and I knew we were going to end up be, we were going to end up leaving South Carolina and that I would be able to move somewhere where I could find a job. But in the meantime, while we were still making plans to sell the house and all this stuff, I wanted to try and find a job. And so I was suffering with insomnia for about a week, week and a half. And it was horrible. And I, I, I didn't even have anything I had to do. I mean, I was just like doing some little fix up things around the house and, and things like that. And it was just like it was walking in a freaking dream or a nightmare. I mean, the brain without sleep is a fucked up thing. The brain without sleep is is a very, very bizarre thing. Anyway, let's keep going. Homossa kun kiertoilla pyöriminen. But yeah, trying to deal with that while on tour, trying to do your job. Meillä on nyt treenamassa tulevaa naituslevyä kuukauden päivät suurin piirtein. Ja valitettavasti kyseinen, kyseinen vaiva on ollut seurana myös täällä. Ja tästä johtuen on nyt joutunut tekemään, tekemään henkilökohtaisen päätöksen, että astun sivuun, sivuun tulevalta naituslevyltä. Ja tulevalta kiertoa. That had to be hard for him. Tämä on nyt valitettava tilanne, mutta ainoa oikea päätös tässä, tässä vaiheessa. Tämä ratkaisu, mihin Jukka päätyi, on äärimmäisen epäitsekäs. Ja senkin takia hyvin kunnioitusta herättävä. Ja meidän pitää myöskin bändissä kunnioittaa tätä päätöstä, mutta Samaa aikaa se kyllä... I get, I get the sense this is hung over to him us. I've never seen him in sunglasses before. Exactly, Lopetov. I was like, yeah, this is hung over to him us. Tekee minut ihan pohjattoman surulliseksi. Great minds. Nämä viime päivät on tuntunut siltä, että näkee pahaa unta ja toivoo vaan heräävänsä. Heräävänsä, mutta tota... I, I have those Oakleys. Those are gas cans. I have that pair of Oakleys. Ja me on erittäin optimistinen myöskin sen suhteen, että jossain vaiheessa tulevaisuutta, puhutaan nyt sitten kuukausista tai vuosista, niin Jukka selättää tämän koettelemuksen ja palaa, palaa bändiin takaisin. The first priority right now is to become healthy again and not to... Um, try and push myself to do this even even though I know that I can't. So to acknowledge that and to tell us I'm sorry but I can't and I will focus on getting healthy I think is a very brave decision and I fully support that. And I really hope that the coming time um, will help him to get his health back and back on his feet and the old uh, almost superman yuka that he that he can be and uh, we'll wait for him. Uh, I I can't wait. Ei tää kuitenkaan sais niin vakavaa olla, että riskeerais omaa terveytensä ja et, et ootellaan ja toivotaan parasta. Oma veikkaus, että kohta se on taas kapuloitten varas. Tähän liittyy vielä kuitenkin niin kuin paljon muutenkin pelkästään niin bändisoittaa, että siinä on ympärillä on firma, on kaikkea mahdollista. Eli, niin kuin, sitä aseveljeyttä, sitä kunnioitetaan ja arvostetaan niin pitkälle kuin sitä voidaan, niin paljon kuin me voidaan antaa hemmolle vielä niin kuin mahdollisuuksia olla mukana ja muuta tälleen, niin totta kai niin tehdään. Jään hoitamaan, niin kuin on tähänkin hoitanut, hoitanut taustalla yhtyjen asioita, että siellä riittää kyllä, kyllä tekemistä, on riittänyt tahasti ja riittää tulevaisuudessakin, mutta se tärkein rakkain on nyt toistaiseksi ainakin poissa. Kuvioista. Hyvä ystävä Kai Hahto, jonka porukka tuntee varmasti Wintersanista, Suolotesanista, mitä muuta bändiä onkaan. Aivan loistava rumpali totta kai ensinnäkin, mutta mikä sitten hienota, niin mahtava persona ja niin kuin sanottu hyvä ystävä. Ja Kaitsu onneksi heti kun asiasta hänelle ilmoitettiin ja sanottiin, että nyt olisi tarvetta palveluksille, niin ei epäröinyt hetkeäkään 
Kaiatsu? Is that his full name? Kaiatsu? Kaitsu tulee nyt tänään ottaa rummut. Kaitsu? Joo, eli kolme viikkoa sitten Jukka soitti mulle puhelimella, että olisi tämmöinen... Oh, Nick, Nick. Tämmöinen tota ongelma, että tarvitsisi apua tämän uuden levyn kanssa. Ja, ja tosiaan niin kuin, nyt ollaan täällä. Eli tietenkin tunnen kaverit entuudesta ja ollut parilla edellisellä levyllä mukana rumputeknikkona, mutta nyt sitten ollaan auttamassa ihan niin kuin, isommalla kädellä. Tietenkin Jukka on mulle hyvin, hyvin läheinen, että se on niin kuin, hyvä, hyvä ystävä, että se on niin kuin, haluan, haluan tehdä mahdollisimman hyvää jälkeä tietenkin myös niin Jukankin takia, koska Jukka joutui nyt jäämään sivuun tästä hommasta ja se on varmasti aika rankkaa, rankkaa sille kuitenkin niin sanoa jätkille, että nyt ei, ei pysty, pysty nimenomaan toimimaan, toimimaan tota tällä hetkellä. Eli tämä on itsellekin aika epätodellinen fiilis, että on, on nyt sitten täällä treenaamassa jätkien kanssa. Päästä ei tehty heppusin perusteen, tämä ei ole mikään että nyt kerran sattui käymään näin, että jostain tietystä syystä johtuen unottomuus on, on seuraksi tullut, vaan sitä on jatkunut jo vuosia ja sitä on yritetty ja hoitaa, jos minkä muisin keinoin on saada hallintaa. Tietysti ihmitä tapahtuu, ehkä jossain vaiheessa keksitään, tai ehkä löytyy syy, minkä takia unottomuus on vaivannut. Ja jos näin käy, niin on, on kyllä juoksu jaloin. Palaamassa tonne, tonne minne, minne sydän kuuluu. Mutta tuota, katsotaan. Siis, niin kuin sanottu, ihmisiä sieltä tapahtuu. Toivotaan parasta, pitää spirittiä yllä. Yeah. Joo. Oh, that had to be rough. That had to be rough for him. I mean, and for the band. And yeah. I mean, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. So. We'll go ahead and we'll cut this here for YouTube. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did. That was that was really cool to get to see all of that behind the scenes stuff. Um, I, I just I love this band and I, I love their camaraderie and I love how uh, how Marco talks of it as, you know, uh, kind of in that militaristic sort of sense that, you know, they're, they're in this fight together, this, this battle that they're brothers in arms. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I would imagine that, you know, playing as a band and touring and going to the studio and doing all of the stuff that, yeah, it's just, it's, it pulls you together and, and, you know, you've got to have this sense of togetherness and, and, you know, fighting the fight together and things like that, um, that, uh, yeah, it's got, I can't, uh, I can't even fathom what it would be like to be a part of that creative process. I've said before, I'm not a super creative person. I can take something that's been created and I can tweak it and, and things like that, but I'm not the one to come up with the ideas, but you know, I, it would be so cool, you know, knowing that like Tuomas comes in with this general idea, he's got the scope, he's got the, the the basics the basic plan laid out and then as the band comes in and they start tweaking things that's got to be a really really cool thing to be a part of um and you know with floor joining the band and adding all this extra ability and texture to things um that had to be a super cool time just here just that first album making that first album with floor um yeah very cool. I very much enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it as well out there on YouTube. Twitch, thanks for hanging out um, and uh, filling me in with some of the stuff that I might have been missing while I was looking away and, and keeping me in line. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll cut it here. We're going to be back. I'm not sure what we're coming back with, but we're coming back with something. Um, so hang tight for that. Definitely going to have more stuff coming. So everybody be good. Peace. <laughs>